Thank you. So Josh Harris said today he hopes to have a head of football operations in place before they hire a head coach, but that timing might be squeezed as coaching candidates become available. So here are some of the candidates we have deemed viable for the position of 31st head coach in franchise history. Ben Johnson, 37-year-old offensive coordinator for the playoff-bound Detroit Lions. The Lions currently have the third-ranked offense in the NFL. He coached Sam Howell, by the way, in the Senior Bowl two years ago if the team doesn't draft a quarterback with a number two pick. Mike McDonald, defensive coordinator for the Baltimore Ravens. Baltimore's defense ranked sixth in this season. He's got eight years vested in Baltimore. Frank Smith, 42-year-old, offensive quarter of the Miami Dolphins. They own the number one offense in the league. Got a lot of weapons, but keep in mind, Washington will have that number two pick in the draft. And right now, six picks in the first 102 selections. That's some draft capital there. And how about Raheem Morris, 47 years old, third year as the defensive coordinator with the Rams. But he was here in Washington as a DB's coach, 2012 to 2015. And the players really liked him. Didn't want to see him go. Stick with me here. Jim Harbaugh, kind of busy right now. Michigan coach, playing for a national title tonight. Last coached in the NFL nine years ago, but led San Francisco to the Super Bowl before losing to his older brother, John, with the Ravens. Maybe he wants a little brotherly payback. And Anthony Weaver, 43 years old, associate head coach and defensive line coach for the Ravens. Reports have the Harris Ownership Group showing interest in all the men I just mentioned. Requests have gone out to speak with them. Again, the commanders have not confirmed any of the names on this list. Now, some are getting ready for the playoffs, so there are rules in place for that. You can only interview virtually before the end of the divisional uh, playoff games on January 21st. If they want a second interview, well, then it's the team that's in the Super Bowl. You can do that <laughs> interview during the bye week. It gets all okay. convoluted. All yeah. right, so how quickly could the team name a new coach with all that said? We heard Josh Harris say he wants this to move quickly, but he also wants to be thorough. Yeah, he's going to be thorough. So I think they're going to – it's 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 really hard to say, Lorenzo, um, because those guys are busy right now. So I think they're going to take their time a little bit, okay. see what, who all the candidates are. This is the beginning of Black Monday, by the way, right? So yeah. there's a lot of coaches that are available and some young coordinators who are still looking – for a job, a head job, while coaching teams. So it's it's so really like hard months, to tell. Huh? Huh? It's going to go on for months. It it's, like, no, yeah. no, won't be months for a head coach. Because okay. uh, you got to get right to it with OTAs right. and everything else and get ready for the combine and the draft, which is April 25th. Ooh. Well, you touched on, I mean, the major allure of having that, you know, second round pick yeah. kind of yeah. dangling as mm -hmm. an incentive. Yeah, and $90 million worth of cap space, by the yeah, way. Yeah, that too. Right. And yeah. an ownership group, by the way, <laughs> if I can say just say this, and an owner who it was great to listen to him speak, and understand what he was saying mm. and make sense. Yeah. Hasn't right. been here for like the mm -hmm. last 20 years. Okay.